Hello everyone, I'm Gwendolyn Halley, I'm a medical microbiologist and I'm popularly known as the medical professional with the difference. Today we are going to be talking about cabegolin and pituitary adenomas. Pituitary adenoma is a non-cancerous growth on the pituitary gland in the head. We all know that the pituitary gland is responsible for the secretions of all hormones in the body. And so this non-cancerous growth grows on the pituitary and it affects the level of prolactin in most females especially and causes other diseases in some people. Now, in some cases, this tumor may grow to a certain point where it begins to affect the vision of the patient. But before we go into that, let's talk about cabegolin. Cabegolin is a tablet that is given to people who actually have uh, hyperprolactinemia, that is high levels of prolactin in their body, or galactoria, the secretion of uh, milk in their bodies, uh, in their breasts, sorry. And it is a very good product. Now, I've been watching on the internet and i've been seeing a lot of ladies complain about the side effects of this drug uh in regarding to pituitary adenomas and hyperprolactinema uh, or idiopathic uh, galactoria and i would like to say this i'm going to give you a tip on how you can reduce the side effects of this drug the drug works like magic yes and at the same time the side effects are just so bad that you can enjoy your regular day or live a normal life because it affects your moods, it affects everything concerning you, it makes you lightheaded, it gives you headaches, you know. And for some people, when they take it after two, three weeks, the side effects go away. But for some women, they actually have to live with this for the rest of their lives. Now, if your doctor has prescribed you Cabegolin, the brand I have here is Cabelin. This is an Indian brand, Cabellin. And this is how tiny the tablets come out to be. They are very tiny tablets. Now, if your doctor prescribes you uh, 0 0.5 milligrams of Cabegolin, let me say for maybe the pituitary uh, uh, adenoma, or let me say you have a Parkinson's or a any other a disease that is actually related to pituitary adenoma and you are being uh, given this drug what i would advise you to do is divide the drug into two and you can take one on tuesday one half one part of the half on tuesday and take one other part of the half on a friday and what i advise you to do is do take it in the afternoon or towards 4 p.m., 3 p.m. that way. So that by the time you're going to bed, by the time the side effects are coming up, are busting up, you're already in bed. Drink a lot of water. Now, if the side effects are so bad that it gives you blackout, it increases your heart rate so badly that you can't cope, meet your doctor and the doctor will reduce it to a cabegolin 0.25. And you do the same thing. You divide the drug into two and you take the first half, that would be 0 .0, 0 0.125 on Tuesday. And then you can take the next half on of the 0 0.125 milligram of the tablet that you have divided on a Friday. And, and <clears throat> make sure you take those halves all in that week this is going to help to reduce the side effects to like 70 percent as you're taking a lot of water make sure you are constantly hydrated and you get the sleep that you need let me be very honest with you there's no need for you taking a, a non-steroidal uh, anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen paracetamol for this long period of time or for the rest of your life because you're only going to expose yourself to gastritis, gastric ulcers, peptic ulcers, and a lot holes in your intestines or stomach and a lot more. So what I'm just going to advise you is just stick to the tip I've given you. If you are taking this drug, 
just divide the tablet into two and take one part you can choose on it you, you can choose wednesday or a saturday but make sure that it's actually spaced out and while you're taking the drug make sure you're taking the drug with food please take the drug with food and a lot of water and if you can't uh, during the, the, your mornings when you're going, when you have a very active day, you can take a vitamin C supplement, a feather scent drink, and you can drink. It's not, you're not going to be every day, but on the days that you have a lot of activities and you need your brain to function real quick and real good, instead of taking coffee, 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 that in the long run, it may give you nervous breakdown, why not take vitamin C or increase your intake of vitamin c fruits or vitamin c products so that your metabolism your immune system can constantly be boosted up and especially your 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 brain can be poof can be boosted up do a lot of exercises as well that's going to help that's going to help to get make you not tired when you take the drug now i would like to say this unless the pituitary adenoma it's a caution and a warning. Its pressing has increased more than five millimeters in your head and is pressing against your brain and affecting your vision. Will I suggest that you do a surgery? There are many people who have gone ahead and done a surgery and they regret why they ever went ahead and did that surgery. And most doctors who are honest will advise their patient not to go ahead with the surgery if the non-cancerous growth or tumor isn't big enough for their machine to take it out. Remember that the device that is, that, that is supposed to take out the tumor is passed through the nostrils into the score. And the pituitary gland is so small. It's a very small gland, but it's very important. Any form of puncture, friction, and handling of the pituitary can cause all the hormones on your, on, in your body to begin to decrease or increase when it wants, can shut down some certain normal, but for example, you may not be able to have kids as a woman in long term that means that means your hormones would just be doing anyhow because the pituitary is responsible for progesterone estrogen what am i talking about gastric uh, the, all the juices secreted in the body like your whole body depends on pituitary to function regularly so please before you make up your mind to go ahead, make sure the growth of the pituitary adenoma is more than seven millimeters. And it's affected by the time it's seven millimeters, it will begin to affect your sight, it will begin to give you maybe headaches. That is when you can go ahead with it because then the machine that has to pick it up will pick it up without tampering with the pituitary. And this is a very, very sensitive and <clears throat> expensive procedure. You would not like to pay this for this procedure and come out having complications that will cost you a lifetime. That will cost you a, uh, that will, a complication that will have you living on not only one drug that is cabergoline now, but drugs and you'll be bedridden for some cases. Please. I know it's mostly ladies who have this pituitary adenoma, but there's one in eight people in the world who have a tumor on their pituitary and they live happily. They learn how to manage it. If you're a Christian and you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, pray about it. Deliver yourself from it. Go into fasting and prayers and get it out of you. And I believe that Jesus will scatter it out of your body in the name of Jesus. Please, I know how frustrating it can be for a lady, a woman's whole body to be controlled by 
a small tablet. And the thing is, when you want to get pregnant, you know, you have to take cabegolin. When you get pregnant, you stop taking it. Once you give birth, you go back to it. The only good thing about cabegolin is it increases the libido of whoever is taking it. But this is not only for women because there are some men who actually uh, uh, um, have high prolactin levels who also go through this. So, but mostly women, please. This is my advice to you. So I've given you tips on how to, you can reduce the side effects of cabegolin irrespective of the dosage, uh, the milligrams that the doctor has prescribed for you. And also, also some certain tips that you can do to keep your brain alert. If you have, if you feel lightheaded, if you feel that your energy levels are low, if you feel tired all the time, get vitamin C, take a lot of citrus fruits and do a lot of exercises, drink a lot of water. And until the tumor is big enough, or like seven millimeters big for it to be taken out by a surgeon, a neurosurgeon, please do not. Make sure you see an endocrinologist who will give you advice on this, but don't go for surgery until it's big enough because you may regret it. Make sure you see a neurologist and a neurosurgeon get their best advice. This is not a matter for a gynecologist. This is a matter, this is a, a situation that has to do with your nerves, your glands, endocrinologists, your neurons, everything. So please, thank you so much for joining me on this short segment. Thank you to all my returning subscribers. I send you hugs, I send you kisses. Thank you for growing my channel because the more you watch, the more, you know, the algor algorithm works for me, <laughs> the more visibility this video has. And if you just popped on this video, please do share this information with other ladies, with other ladies and um, everything will be okay. If you need help going to the right specialty, to help you on this case, on this issue of pituitary adenoma, hyperprolactinemia, or uh, idiopathic galactoria, that means the causes are unknown, do contact me inbox and I'll give you directions. I'll tell you where to go to, where you can get the best advice, you can get your treatment on how to control this uh, issue and also follow up so please, do take care of your health. 